Sure, we all know that Coachella is a celebration of music and art, but that doesn't mean attendees don't take pride in their appearances. Coachella has developed its own distinct fashion over the years, and many celebs pride themselves on their exquisite festival wear. So it might surprise you to know that sometimes the carefully curated outfits of celebrities end up causing major controversies. Even Coachella regulars aren't immune to stirring up trouble with the clothing they choose to wear to the event. You might be shocked by which celebrities manage to anger fans with their seemingly thoughtless choices. There is definitely no shortage of people who are crazy about Coachella. Even though attending is expensive, the tickets sell out quickly and tons of people return year after year. Even many celebrities can't get enough of the event, though sometimes they bring controversies with them. Model Alessandra Ambrosio once caused a huge stir when she brought her adorable young daughter with her to Coachella. Critics claimed the event was no place for a child and accused Alessandra of using poor judgment. But it turns out this wasn't an isolated incident, and another Coachella-related choice had people wondering what Alessandra was thinking. In preparation for the 2014 event, Alessandra decided to share a sneak peek of her Coachella outfit with her Instagram fans. She took a picture of herself and captioned it, becoming more inspired for Coachella with this amazing Native American headpiece. Pretty much immediately, fans had a huge issue with this post and the headdress Alessandra was wearing. Many festivals have ruled against attendees wearing Native American-inspired headdresses, but Coachella notably does not. In fact, attendees can even choose to rent a teepee to sleep in for the weekend. Fans were still shocked by Alessandra's choice to wear a sacred Native American headdress to a music festival. Since she works for Victoria's Secret, she really should have known better. The brand has been in trouble before for such things, including when Carly Kloss wore a headdress on the runway. Cultural appropriation is a tricky subject, and many struggle to see the difference between a appreciating and appropriating a culture. However, pretty much everyone agrees that dressing in sacred Native American garb to attend a music festival is culturally insensitive. These headdresses have an incredibly deep spiritual significance, and to treat them as a mere fashion choice is pretty insulting to many people. Fans were forced to question if Alessandra Ambrosio was simply ignorant or if she was trying to provoke some sort of controversy. It turns out that Alessandra Ambrosio isn't the only Victoria secret model whose Coachella fashion has upset people. Shanina Shaikh shared a photo of herself sporting a braided hairstyle in anticipation of Coachella. Some of her fans called her out and accused her of appropriating African culture. Although Shanina hails from Australia, she's of Lithuanian, Pakistani, and Saudi Arabian heritage. Many fans believe her Middle Eastern background contradicted claims of cultural appropriation. They pointed out that women in the Middle East frequently wear braids, only to be met with the insistence that those braids look different. While some were offended by Shanina's hairstyle, most people didn't seem to mind that she braided her hair for the event. They pointed out that celebrities who use aspects of Native American culture are a far bigger issue than copying hairstyles. Former Disney star Vanessa Hudgens has also been seen wearing a Native American-inspired headdress to Coachella, and in 2016, Vanessa incorporated a dream catcher into her hairstyle. Many accused her of using another culture as a costume, but interestingly enough, Vanessa is actually actually part Native American on her father's side. This sparked further debate regarding the appropriateness of her outfit. Does being Native American give you a pass to wear important spiritual garments to a decadent music festival? Or could there be something about music festivals which makes celebs think these rules of decency simply don't apply? Selena Gomez performed an incredible performance of the song Come and Get It at the MTV Movie Awards in 2013, but still came under fire. The reason? Many Hindu groups had a problem with Selena wearing a traditional bindi and treating it like a fashion accessory. According to Hindu statesman Rajan Zed, the bindi is part of an ancient Hindu tradition with religious significance. He called it a religious and spiritual symbol and had some harsh words for Selena. He stated, It is not meant to be thrown around loosely for seductive efforts or as a fashion accessory. Oof. Tell us what you really think. But despite all of this backlash, Selena still decided it would be totally appropriate to wear bindi again when she went to Coachella. And surprisingly enough, she wasn't alone, because many of her fellow celebs did the same. Wearing bindi to Coachella is hardly honoring Hindu culture, and yet so many celebrities seem to think it's okay. In 2014, Selena Gomez, Kendall Jenner, Sarah Hyland, and Vanessa Hudgens were all spotted wearing it. Vanessa Hudgens even shared a photo on Instagram showing the effect of wearing a bindi all day had on her skin. By now, you might be wondering if any of these celebrities learned their lesson or expressed regret for their choices made in the name of Coachella fashion. 
Well, the answer is yes, but it's not quite what you might think. Vanessa Hudgens has made many questionable fashion decisions over the years, at least where this festival is concerned. She's recently revealed what she believes to be her biggest Coachella fashion faux pas. No, it's not the bindi, it's something she wore for the 2012 festival. According to Vanessa, she was spending the festival in an RV without a full-length mirror. We'll pause for a second so you can finish gasping in shock at how much Vanessa was roughing it. Vanessa claims the weather was cold and it was starting to rain, so she paired a pair of thigh-high tights with rain boots. Without her full-length mirror, she simply couldn't tell that the outfit didn't work before strolling around the festival. But don't worry, Coachella fashion fans, she's learned her lesson. Vanessa assured fans that now she packs multiple festival outfits in advance, so she has lots of great options to choose from. Phew, what a relief. Another star who found herself being criticized for a Coachella fashion choice is beauty influencer Nikita Dragon. She's a hit on Instagram, but some of her hairstyles have her fans up in arms. Nikita describes her heritage as half Mexican and half Southeast Asian, and she's been accused of cultural appropriation on multiple occasions, whether it's sporting pink dreadlocks on the streets of Japan or rainbow ones at Coachella. Some people even called her look disgusting and claimed she has no right to wear these hairstyles because they're rooted in black culture. Many fans are looking forward to seeing Ariana Grande perform at 2019 Coachella, but some are less than impressed with her at the moment. Everyone knows Ariana Grande has tons of tattoos, and it doesn't always seem like she thinks them all the way through before she adds them to her body. It's clear she appreciates them from an aesthetic standpoint, but many feel she goes too far in this fashion and even question her appearance at Coachella. Just what tattoo did she get which caused such an uproar? Well, first, let's answer the question, what tattoo did Ariana Grande want to get? The singer wanted to get a tattoo in order to commemorate the success of her song, Seven Rings, which she wrote to honor her besties. Ariana sat down for a tattoo reading Seven Rings, but there was one small problem. Instead of getting her tattoo in English, Ariana opted for Japanese kanji, and there was something of a translation error. Instead of Seven Rings, her tattoo ended up saying Barbecue Grill. Uh, whoops. While Ariana seemed to be in good humor about the tattoo online and acknowledged the mix-up, some fans were still livid. They claimed the fact that she got a tattoo in Japanese was cultural appropriation and that Ariana Grande is part of the problem. She might not be planning to wear a Native American headdress to Coachella, but according to social media users, this tattoo is just as bad. However, Ariana herself seemed less than impressed with this criticism. She even tried to fix it, although this only resulted in it reading Japanese barbecue. Grill. Come on, it's clear Ariana has suffered enough at this point. Just let her rock Coachella with her Japanese barbecue grill tattoo. The subject of cultural appropriation can be a complex and divisive one, but can we all agree that plagiarism is wrong? Kylie Jenner has been accused of stealing the work of other creators when it comes to advertising for her lip kits and her Coachella fashion. Everyone knows she's a massive fan of Coachella. It's where she met Travis Scott, and she returned a mere two months after the birth of her daughter. And during Coachella 2016, she showed up sparkling in a sequined swimsuit and rainbow braids. Although Kylie may have been stunning, some fans realized they had seen that outfit somewhere before. Eagle-eyed Instagram users had noticed an Australian designer who goes by the handle BritDay121 on Instagram. She had worn the exact same outfit two whole weeks before Kylie. She had posted photos of herself in the outfit more than once, and it seems unlikely Kylie didn't see it. Brit accused Kylie of stealing her style, but if that's the case, she's in good company. It seems Kylie finds inspiration wherever Ever she looks, and even her own sister Chloe has flat out accused Kylie of copying her before. But in Kylie's defense, there's another plausible explanation for this. Could it be possible Kylie simply purchased the same mass produced festival friendly outfit and just so happened to have the same hairstyle as someone else? It's not hard to see why people would want to attend this over the top festival, but it turns out some of these stars have ulterior motives. That exquisite Coachella fashion you can't help drooling over on Instagram? Well, most of it is completely spot sponsored, and celebs are paid to wear it. One example of this is actress Leah Michelle, who earned $20,000 just for showing up to Coachella in certain clothing. French fashion label Lacoste happily forked over the thousands of dollars in order for Leah to be seen rocking their clothes. Even Coachella regulars like Vanessa Hudgens have their festival experience bought and paid for by top brands. In addition to taking home a huge check just for showing up, these stars also have all of their tickets and accommodations paid for. And you know, they're not spending their nights in one of the basic camping options. Some celebs are content to sit back
back and watch the offers pour in, but others seek out sponsors before booking their tickets. According to one report, Aaron Paul was hoping for $15,000 as payment and a minimum of two VIP tickets. And then there's Kate Bosworth, who believes she's worth at least twice that. She is not showing up to Coachella for less than $30,000. Meanwhile, Joe Jonas was hoping to take in $20,000 for the event. Even fashion bloggers like Louise Rowe are scrambling for sponsors. Louise allegedly wanted $5,000 and three Coachella tickets in exchange for her appearance. It's kind of crazy that the general public desperately saves to fund their own festival trips while celebrities actually get paid to attend. Dub Cameron headed to the festival in her Buick Encore, and she made sure to shout out the company on Instagram. Yeah, we have a distinct feeling she isn't making any payments on that car. Hashtag sponsored much? But we get it, these endorsements are a total no-brainer for celebrities. Not only do they get paid for going to a music festival, but they don't even have to spend tons of time at the event. Sure, they'll take some photos of themselves strolling the festival grounds to post on social media, but then it's all exclusive parties in VIP areas. There's even a whole group of people who choose to go no cella by not even showing up to the festival. Instead, they focus on all the crazy parties that happened around Coachella without spending money on tickets for the festival itself. So, if you're lucky enough to attend this popular festival, we have some advice. Keep your Instagram-worthy outfits culturally appropriate. What do you think about these Coachella outfits and the celebrities who rock them? Do you think people are making a big deal about nothing, or do these stars need to think before they accessorize? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. Bye for now.